Hey friends, so in this YouTube video, we are going to have a look at my whole watercolor palette collection. A little disclaimer, I am not here to show off my whole watercolor palette collection and no one in particular need these many palettes to work. It is just I really like to try different brands of watercolor, see their properties and how they work with my style of watercolor painting. And the main motive of this video is also to help you to select one palette that works for you. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So basically I am having two kind of watercolor palettes. It is either made up of plastic or either made up of metal. So I will be starting with the metal watercolor palette from the size small to the size big and then the same with the plastic palettes. So starting with my very first metallic watercolor palette, you must have known it is Aqua Mini from Sinelia and it was my very first artist grade watercolor set. It was sent to me by one of my friend Instagrammer uh, Christine. So this is Sinel this is from Sinelia and this is one fourth pan, a quarter pan and uh, these are artist grade watercolors. So this part is actually acrylic. This part is acrylic. So what I did, I just swatched the colors and I stuck snuggle these, this piece of paper here. Let me remove it for you. So this is acrylic. Basically the thing is that you cannot use this area very effectively for mixing. So as you can see, I have used this palette pretty good. But the thing is, I require a lot of mixing area and personally, I won't go with only the, this part of mixing area. It is a good palette. I will really recommend you to try the test packs before investing into any watercolor brand. And this was the test pack for me, uh, for the Sinelia brand. So yeah, this is the first set. The second set is my own, like it is not an official set, but I made it on my own. So again, these pens were sent to me by my friend Christine from uh, Instagram and I moved those pans into this palette this was a pen case so yeah it works these are these watercolors are from different brands like m gram whole bean and this is the small mixing area but this is not white so you um so you cannot have a good idea what color you are mixing and anything else it is a good travel palette besides if you are not looking for a huge mixing area so my third palette is also a very famous brand besides all are the famous brand but this is very famous because this is from prima watercolors so this brand is rebranded as the art philosophy and this is the decadent pies from prima watercolors and this is the decadent pies as i said it has four metallic shades bronze gold silver and a white metallic so the bronze and the silver is actually stone they are actually stone and it was impossible for me to soften it by putting any amount of water or using a brush or anything but these are student grid pies so with this watercolor palette uh, it it is a generic tin which you can find anywhere on art anywhere on the art stores and it has good mixing area it works well and you can also snuggle some half pans in between here so moving on to the next watercolor palette it is from memory blue and it is my one of the favorite favorite palette but it is in a smaller size uh, I have removed all the half pans it was it came in with half pans and there were the dividers so let me explain this palette so this part is uh, flat and it is hinging towards the down like it is not staying up it is hinging down and it is totally fine for me because I use a lot of pressure while mixing so this will hinge down anyways and these are the three wells for the mixing and they are the th these two railings which will hold your half pans into the place and this was divided into the sections so that the half so that i can fit in the half pans but what i did i just lowered down these sections so that i can put my full pans and it works really gorgeous it is a lovely palette it the palette do not bead and i really love this palette it is heavy duty and I will put these into the place so it goes like this and there is a ring at back you can put your finger here and open it like this 
and this you can also put half pans over here half pans or full pans my next watercolor palette is this one this is also a generic palette so basically i bought a watercolor set from an art store named as mungo watercolors but those were student grade watercolors they were very similar to the prima watercolors so what i did i removed the prima watercolors and i poured my own colors these are shin han professional watercolors it is normal palette but the thing is in the prima watercolor palette you have a place to fit a half pans over here line of half pans but in this palette you cannot because you can see i can barely fit my finger here so these kind of palettes also vary these have this uh, this mixing area and this mixing area you know and moving towards the next palette which is um, i haven't opened this palette it is a brand new palette it is dela rauni aqua fine so i will just open it in front of you so this is the packaging i haven't used it once it is a brand new palette so it come like this i really like the palette which are having these kind of mixing area like these are so smooth and it was it is a butter paper on which the names of the color is, is written so you might ask Karan, there is a lot of space here. So you can actually put your half pans here, extra half pans. But these are 24 shares. These are full 24 shares. And I haven't used it a lot, but these are also not, but these also do not stand in artist great series. So putting it back and my next watercolor palette is from Sennelier. And it is also a brand new palette. I have just used it once and then I put it back into the box and I kept it in my wardrobe. So again, opening it in front of you, I have just used it once, not more than that. So it also have a ring. So opening, yeah, see, I have used it once, but still there is this plastic cover. And this is, this is just 12 half pans from Sennelier. These are artist grade watercolors. And I really love Sennelier. Yeah, I am a huge fan of Sennelier. They work so good with my style of floral paintings. So nothing very special. And my next watercolor palette is the one that you see in every YouTube video is this one. This is also from Memory Blue. So let me compare the previous Memory Blue palette with this one. The previous one is a little small. This is smaller version this is the large bigger version and it opens like this the thing with this palette is this mixing area do not hinge to the down bottom it stays in the hair unlike this palette so i was a little curious about it anyways this palette was also same like this palette it was having dividers like this so that i can put one half pan but what i did i just lowered those dividers and put my own full pans same there is a rail which will keep the full pans or half pans in the place let's move on to the plastic palettes my first and the smallest plastic watercolor palette is one from the daniel smith so this was the empty palette that i bought and actually i really want to tell that the quality of the plastic using in this palette is horrible it is terrible because i just opened it once and the hinges were broken and these are not the Daniel Smith watercolors. These are M gram watercolors, which I poured on my own with the tubes that I have. I have 15 shades of M gram and I just poured all the shades here. <laughs> and also when, even if it is uh, not broken, it will open till here, which will just rush all the water towards the hair and it will just come out of here. So I do not personally like this palette a lot, but I just tried I just used it to pour M gram watercolors. So my next watercolor palette is from a travel set from Dale Rowney and these are student grade watercolors. So it has, it opens like this and it has three mixing areas. You can keep a small brush here, but personally I do not use small brushes. I use size eight or size 10 brushes, which won't come here. 
So these are student grade watercolors. I really love this palette. Uh, the watercolors are not my favorite ones, but I really like how compact this palette is. This is so small and you can just snuggle it in your pocket whenever you are traveling. The next palette is from Windsor and Newton Cotman. So this is the palette. Uh, yeah, this is the palette and it opens from this side. So this palette is also good because it has a place for a water brush not as you can also put a travel watercolor brush like from princeton or escoda and it has six mixing wells and these are the student grade watercolors these are windsor and newton cotman's so the next watercolor palette is from nevskaya palitra and it is white knight watercolors white knight watercolors there is an idea from different ideas from different artists that these are student grade watercolors or these are uh, these are little advanced than student grades but these are not artist grade some say these are artist grade personally for me these are artist grade i really love these watercolors they are so gorgeous and i am also using one of their color in my main palette so i am using one of their main their color in my main palette and i really love these colors they are so pigmented and so gorgeous i really love them they are so so the next palette is a little bit bigger in size and this is from Mijello mission gold this is the palette so my sister says it looked like a purse instead of palette and it is actually this palette is so pretty it is rose gold color and i really love this palette i have removed all the Mijello Mission Gold watercolor half pens or full pens, whatever they are, I have just removed them and kept aside. I have just poured Memory Blue watercolor range, what I was having. So I really love this palette. So the next palette is my first uh, student grade watercolors after Camlin. Camlin is a brand in India which is very famous and their artist grade are also actually the student grade so i wanted so i wanted to upgrade from the camlin watercolors and this was the palette which i got this is these are wango watercolors if i am comparing all the student grade watercolors these are the ones i will reach for like if i have a list of watercolors from the student grade range then these ones i will just reach out to them and i have just put this this is the mixing area they have six wells and these are all the colors it also have this sponge which i have never used i have never used it so first was the camlin artist grade watercolors and then i upgraded to this palette and then afterwards i upgraded to Mijello mission gold watercolors so the next palette it was my first customized palette and i really love this palette so this is a palette from Mijello, and this is the palette so it is a mess right now because i haven't used it in in like so many months and the thing with these palettes are you get a this kind of thing which gets separated from the palette and you have two mixing area boom and and you have 18 wells so what i did when i got my very first mgram watercolors i just put the half pans and then i poured the color in this and these are some of uh, the color extra colors and it was a daniel smith um sap green it is daniel smith undersea green and all the colors are from sennelier i love sennelier they are so good and they also smell so good they are easily available in india at good price so they're good i really like this palette but now i do not use it because i have another studio palette which works for me so the next plastic palette that i have is this one so this is just a generic palette which i bought when i was visiting uh, when i visited delhi and when i went with my friend at a art shop and we were to try some art some watercolors and i just bought this palette because it was really cheap and we just poured the colors but what happened when i was traveling back to the ludhiana which is my city uh, all the colors just spilled over and i never used this palette again ever again so yeah i can just clean it and use it sometime so the next palette is from Mijello mission gold so it was a set which is a very 
um, economical and well priced and it is from Magello Mission Gold they give 24 to 25 tubes or th no they give 36 7.5 ml tubes with this pallet and uh, for a very reasonable price if we are comparing with other artist grade watercolors so this was the palette which I used after my Van Gogh palette. This is artist grade watercolors. These are 36 wells. This is a plain mixing area. I really love this palette because they have so many wells. They have so many mixing area and all the mixing area is flat. I really love the flat mixing area. So it is also a good palette. I really like it, but I do not use it. And my last watercolor palette is my studio palette. I really love it. I really love it. I usually, if you are following me on Instagram, you must have known because I have po I have posted this palette so many times. So this is the palette. This is such a good palette. So the thing with me is the half pants. I know the half pants are good and they are everything and all. But the thing is. I have ruined so many brushes just because of the half pens because they are so small and they whenever I try to pick up the color it will ruin the tip of the brush. So I never look back and use the half pens instead I am using something some palette which have a wells like this or I started to use the full pens the full pens like in this palette just the full pans so that my brushes do not get damaged because brushes are expensive and you need to take care of it so looking at that part i just changed my priorities and started to use these kind of palettes if you are using a flat brush a huge brush you can just dip it here but in the half pans you cannot use big brushes and mostly i use really big brushes if you are going to ask what is my go to go to palette every time these two will be my go to palette for every time because they are full pan they have flat mixing area they have good mixing area and if i'm going to travel i'm going to travel with this palette but if there is a limitation of the small size i am going to use this palette because i can travel easily with this and i can put all the colors which i'm going to use in this palette and that's my watercolor palette collection so if you have any questions just let me know in down in the comments below and if you want to have any reviews or if you want to ask anything about the watercolors that i have shown in the video just dm me or email me or let me know in the comments below so see you guys in the next video